While lap and sector times are widely discussed for comparison between different drivers, they do not offer enough information to improve performance. For that you need to know exactly where on the track you are losing and gaining time, and this is exactly the purpose of time slip. Before starting, make sure that you have time slip enabled in the variable manager. There are two relevant variables, time slip and time slip rate. Typically, the first thing a race engineer will check in a data set after a race, in all levels of motorsport, is a comparison between the fastest sectors achieved, otherwise known as the fastest theoretical lap, with other laps and sectors. They will want to see how much and where the time was lost. We at Race Technology call this comparison time slip. If we can see how much and where on the track we are losing time, we can look at the data to see why it happened. If we click on this sector, then you can see the time slip compared with the best sector time, which in this case was on lap 7. For this example, the sector time was over half a second different. On the graph of time slip, we can see where in the sector the time was lost. Where the line is horizontal, it is not losing time. Where it rises, it is losing time. And where it falls, it is gaining time. Time slip is the actual time lost up until that point, and is measured in seconds. Time slip rate is an instantaneous measure of how much time we are losing or gaining at any point and is a percentage. An example of how this works is if you were doing 45 miles per hour at the apex of a corner and your best sector time you were doing 50 miles per hour, then the rate of time slip will be 10%. If we show time slip rate, we can see when the number is positive above the line, we are going slower, and for negative values below the line, we are going faster. We can see, looking at the track map, that the time in this sector was lost in the braking zones. Later braking is possible. A logical way to present the same information is to use colours on the track map. To do this, we set track map colour to be controlled from the time slip rate. We will also use interactive mode in the track map window. If we select lap 6, we can clearly see from the colouring that the main area for improvement is in the braking area coming up to the hairpin. Using the coloured track map, it is quick to pinpoint areas where we are losing time. Identifying those areas quickly means we make the best, best use of our track time with effective analysis between runs. By default, the software selects the theoretical fastest lap as the reference for time slip comparison. This lap is made up of the fastest individual sectors, which are shown below in bold. Whilst it is what is normally required, we can select any other lap to compare against. For example, you may want to compare with a qualifying lap or a lap that an instructor drove to see the differences. To do this, select the dot in the lap and sector times window. 